right, Chris, what is the issue that we're looking at with um, the use of GMOs? Well, you know, we're on the square over in Youngstown today, and someone had just come by and said, well, what's wrong with GMOs? And to answer your question, it's probably more of a, a question to say what's what is right with GMOs? Is there anything right with GMOs? And I think the answer is probably not. Um, the huge question marks start when you try to figure out why they don't want to label food as being a GMO product. You know, a genetically modified organism means that they're taking that structure, that natural structure of a vegetable or of an animal, and they're modifying that, they're changing it. Uh, it's all about money. They're changing it so that they can improve their yield, so that they can make better, bigger, fatter animals to take to the slaughterhouse quicker, so that they can make quicker um, sprouting vegetables that will yield um, massive uh, steroidal looking strawberries and potatoes and tomatoes. Um, to me it's like horrifying because we don't know what's going on with that. It's like Frankenstein. It's opening up a can of worms. It's Pandora's box. Everything all in one. Just coming together and saying, what are these mad scientists doing? Um, so I don't have an answer for you. I wish I knew. You know, maybe then we would feel safer about what's going on with the food industry today. All I have to say is that it's Monsanto that is to blame. They're the big promoters of this now. And if you um, are smart, if you're savvy in the world today, you're going to boycott things that are genetically modified, and for sure you're going to shy away of anything made by Monsanto. Okay, thank you very much.